Hi everybody, I'm Allie from Allie Cat Cosplay and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beginner friendly project using foam that you can order from online. We're gonna be using our Plaid FX specialty cosplay paint. So I hope that you enjoy. All right, we have a clean surface and let's go ahead and get started. Our first piece we're gonna work with is our main front collar piece. We have our base piece here and our spider web that will go on the very bottom. And what we're going to do is start to hot glue them together very carefully. Next to the top of the neck, we're going to put the border. We're also going to glue this to the very top. And be very, very careful. Do not burn yourself. We do not want to be a real life mummy for Halloween. And while we let this fully cool down, we'll start on the back of our collar piece. We'll also have a border at the bottom and top. Now that we have the back done, we're going to bring in the star of the show, our little spider dude. Most spiders have eight legs. We're gonna have little six legs. He's gonna be our cartoon character. So what I like to do is position his legs at the corners and spread them out like a fan. Put three little dots. One, two, three. And place his head right on top. Same thing on the other side. Now comes in connecting our two main pieces to make a whole collar. Make sure your edges line up at the seams and begin to hot glue as well. Since this is wearable, we do like to reinforce the seams with a little bit more hot glue on the bottom just so it's make sure to stay together. Now on your pattern, you should see a little line in the back part of the back of the collar and that's where we're going to snip so that you can actually put this over your head. We're going to be using Velcro and some foam so they stay off the back of your neck so you can stay comfy all night. Place this on one corner, press and hold. You won't need the top part because that part is going to be glued to the other side. And we don't want the sticky part to be on our neck so we're going to cut a piece of foam the same size this is where he'll live, but we're going to paint first. We're going to prime our collar with our Plaid FX Primer in Clear. It's really good using primer because foam is a porous material. And as you're priming at home, you can definitely see how this creates a very smooth surface for your paint to look extra shiny and to look extra opaque. Next up, let's grab our little dancy guy and get him ready for the party. He's all nice and dried and primed. We are going to paint him with our Plaid FX Armor Metallic and Samurai Sword. Small flat brushes are really good for small details like this where you need to get to a flat surface and small crevices and for a little detail brushing like this. I think for him we're gonna do about two to three coats if you wanna get him super gray. I'm going to name my spider Boris. You can name your spider whatever you like. Now that our collar is all primed, we're going to be using Malevolent, which will be the background of the spider web. It's a nice purple color. And this is what it looks like with two layers and dried. We're going to have the spider web glowing with our Plaid FX Nitro Glow in neutral. We're gonna paint all around the edges and we're gonna make little spider web designs all the way across. And this would probably take about two to three layers to get it nice and vibrant. And next up is the fun part. We're gonna be using our FX Smooth Satin in the color Blizzard to create little spider webs all over using this little fine detail brush. Lightly dip the tip where you barely have any paint and you're going to just barely graze little lines all over. And it's okay if it skips. And now with the same technique using the Nitro Glow, we're going to paint over the white lines of the spider webs with the glow paint. We're done with the Nitro Glow and now we can put the spider on the top. We're going to draw a face on Boris with smooth satin and carbon. The spider will also have nuclear drips. We're going to be using our nuclear neon and jolt and shocker. Using the same pointed round brush, grab a healthy amount of paint and 
and droop it upwards. I'm using the same drip technique in the color Jolt to create a little highlight on top of the green. That was a lot of fun making that. I hope you guys enjoyed making that with me as well. Let me see your color combinations online using the hashtag blue by plaid so that we can send the first 50 people a treat in the mail. Thank you and I hope you have a happy Halloween.